Welcome to another edition of Car Show Life. I'm Drake Donovan. Well, the 2021 car show season has just about concluded here in North Central PA. It's time to start thinking about putting the rides away and doing some winter projects. And I'm excited to announce that Car Show Life will be in Las Vegas November 1st through 5th for the SEMA show. The Specialty Equipment Marketers Association holds this annual trade show in Las Vegas and showcases all the new things the aftermarket has to offer. And I decided to use my SEMA membership as well as my membership of the media community to combine both worlds and bring a little bit of SEMA to North Central PA because it's not open to the general public, you know, trade show. So you've got to be in the trade to get in. So that's what we're going to do. November 1st through the 5th, I will be in Las Vegas. If there is something that you want to see that you've heard about, a build or maybe a display by, say, Chevrolet Performance or Mopar Performance or Ford Performance or any of the number of aftermarket manufacturers that will have displays there, DM me at Car Show Life back in Hood Up on Facebook and Instagram, or you can send me an email at info at carshowlife.com. And we'll try to get a closer look at it. Now, speaking of new products, I'm excited to introduce the Car Show Clamp. This device has been in development all throughout 2021, and we've been testing and tweaking, and it is finally ready. This is a clamp that is designed to mount your Car Show Life show board in your engine bay. Now, we have an example here with a 12 by 18 inch show board design, and uh, it mounts with a Velcro plate to the back, and as you can see, the back plate is painted, which I've decided doesn't work as well as clear, so you can line up the Velcro strips. So I kinda gotta do this by eye and by feel. But apply firm pressure, and get the Velcro to stick, and there we go. The clamp is lined with polyurethane jaws so that it won't mar your finishes. It'll mount to various points in your engine bay. I personally mount mine to the strut tower brace in my 2011 Camaro, but you can find other places, fender seams, uh, fender supports, uh, radiator supports, even the radiator shroud will make for a good mounting point for this. And it is pretty solid and sturdy. Doesn't move much. Um, we had a bunch of these out in Ohio for the uh, NEOCC Fall Classic, a bunch of early adopters, and uh, they all did very well. It was a moderately windy day. People that had the vinyl stand-up boards or boards on a tripod, they were constantly picking them up after falling down. But anyone that had these, they stayed in place the whole time, and I was really pleased to see the performance. Uh, we have the 13-inch gooseneck for the 12 by 18 inch diameter poster and then we also have a 19 inch gooseneck if you went for the larger 18 by 24 or it would serve as a good stability mount if you had a 24 by 36 movie size poster and this is made out of die bond this is two sheets of aluminum with a plastic core so it's very sturdy very light weatherproof it won't pucker or pimple like a foam board uh, but it will scratch. It's not indestructible, so you do have to be careful with it. But uh, we're really proud of how this uh, product has been developed. And as you can see here, the clear plate, you can very well see the Velcro on both sides, line it up, press it into place, and it's nice and secure. So that is now live at carshowlife.com slash showboards. And uh, you'll be able to get one for the upcoming 2022 car show season when you get your board designed, hint, hint. Before we wrap up this episode, I want to take a look back at some of the last few events we attended here in North Central PA and take a look at what's coming up on the calendar in 2022. Now, as I mentioned, we were at the 27th anniversary Fall Classic Talmadge, Ohio at the Summit Race Equipment Shop on I-76. It was a glorious day, over 140 Camaros in attendance, and the club, NEOCC, 
raised $7,600 for their charity, ACBC, that benefits the Akron Children's Burn Unit at Akron Children's Hospital. The following weekend, we had the big three shows in Muncie, PA. The Mopar Muscle Club hosting at Fairfield Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram, Susquehanna Valley Corvette Club with Corvettes on Main Street in downtown Muncie, and the fabulous Fall Ford Show hosted by the North Central Mustang Club at Murray Motors. Now, we were welcomed by the Mustang Club to set up our tent at Murray Motors and give away Car Show Life swag throughout the day, and uh, it was great. We had a lot of folks come up and register, a lot of happy winners that day with our Mustang and Ford-inspired car art and apparel. We also donated stuff to the Corvettes and the Mopars, but because I was tied to my tent, I didn't get a chance to get downtown or back over to Fairfield Dodge to see what was happening. So if you know somebody that won or you yourself won a Car Show Life t-shirt or a piece of car art, send us a picture at Car Show Life back in Hood Up. We like to see how people are enjoying our stuff. Sunday, September 19th was supposed to be the annual huge car show at UPMC Divine Providence Hospital, but for the second year in a row, it was canceled because of COVID concerns. Enter the Steel Wheels Car Show. Mike Hall stepped up and within 51 days put together a fantastic event at the Lycoming Mall. Estimates had over 400 cars in attendance and from all appearances, this could become an annual event, drawing hundreds more in the near future. On September 25th, we closed out the Williamsport cars and coffee season on the Faxon Corner, then headed down to Watson Town to the Watson Inn, where Charlie Lombard's Cars for a Cause hosted a 50s themed car show. On Sunday the 26th, we headed west of Williamsport to Lamar, PA for State College Cars and Coffee's bi-weekly cruise-in at the Urban Flavor House. And it was a great time. Lots of cool rides in attendance, great coffee, and even better food at the Urban Flavor House. It's just off I-80 at the Lamar exit. And they hope to be doing that every two weeks in the coming season. And finally, we closed out the 2021 car show season with one last cruise in at Burger King on Maynard Street with the Keystone Cruisers. Fitting that we got some of these shots as the sun was setting on both the evening and the 2021 season. As for next year, here's what's already on the calendar for 2022. And we'll start in Western PA with Pittsburgh World of Wheels, scheduled for January 21st to the 22nd at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. This is one of the few events that can retain its annual status because it was held in 2020 pre-COVID, then delayed until April of this year. So it's been 61 years annually, and it's back to its January dates for 2022. A little closer to home here in North Central PA, Harrisburg Motorama is set to take place February 19th and 20th at the PA Farm Show Complex in Harrisburg. In March, the Mid-Atlantic Indoor Car Nationals Car, Truck, and Bike Show will take place at the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center in Oaks, PA. On April 30th, Williamsport Cars and Coffee kicks off their 2022 season from 8 to 11 on the last Saturday of the month through September. And Saturday, May 7th, the Keystone Cruisers event at Burger King will kick off for their first monthly cruise in of the year. Now, if you're having an event in 2022 that you'd like to have us talk about, make sure you email me, info at carshowlife.com, and make sure you're following us at Car Show Life back in Hood Up on Facebook and Instagram as we head to Vegas for SEMA November 1st through the 5th. And tag us in those winter projects too. We'd love to see what you're working on because it'll help us live the Car Show Life through the long, cold winter. I want to thank everyone who has joined us out at a car show or a cruise here in 2021 and worn a Car Show Life hat or a t-shirt or bought a show board. It really means a lot to me. Also, a big thanks to Phoebe Freer for all of her production assistance and everybody at North Central PA Media. Until next time, I'm Drake Donovan. Go out and live that car show life back in Hood Up. See ya.